In der Tat habe ich einen sehr, sehr interessanten Gast. Er spielt schon eifrig auf der Gitarre. Habe eben schon gesagt, er liebt und lebt traditionelle irische Musik. Ganz klar, eben schon kurz erwähnt. Der legendäre Frontmann der Hot House Flowers heute bei unserer Sendung. Limo Mainly, thank you so much for being on the show today. Uh, more, more than welcome. Thank <laughs> you for... You've been here before, I think, last year. You yeah. did a couple of performances here. Yeah. But musically, I mean, you've been singing and playing music ever since, since childhood. It's been like a, a lifetime journey for you, has it, it not? It has, yeah. And even like last night, I was just realizing that amazing fact. Like yeah. It is something that I just learned as a child. My, as I was learning to speak, my father taught me songs mm -hmm. in my indigenous native language. And I, d I didn't know it was a language. I didn't know there were songs. It just was something we did. Yeah. And, uh, and that has brought me everywhere since then. And, uh, and I love it. It's something that I really, I get, I get deep. Uh, energy feelings from it. I learn from it. It's my it's my main teacher. You know, a gig is somewhere I go in and I figure out what I'm like mm -hmm. and how my energy is and how where I'm at in myself. And it I can't I can't lie with a gig. In yeah, a way. it's like a very very honest being being up on stage and and, yeah. and playing the music. Is it like that? You really like absorb all kinds of music. Blues, whistle tunes, anything like that. Everything for you is like you've been absorbing everything because it isn't easy really talking about your musical styles. It's like eclectic is like a bit of an understatement for you. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I think, you know, we, we, I grew up, like the world is so full of music yeah. and I grew up exposed to all kinds of music and there were some amazing things happened during my, my teenage times, punk rock came along And that was a movement. Yeah. That was really exciting. That was, that was a, a, a kind of a movement that got people who might never have touched an instrument to suddenly play. And they could be architecturally minded people. Yeah. So they, they had a different way of approaching music. And that was really exciting to be around. Also, Elvis Presley died when I was, when I was about 12 years yeah, old. Yeah, late, so late 70s, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah. I got a big exposure to all of his music around that time. And then John Lennon died when I was about 14. And again, that was like, that was shocking and awakening. And, and, but then, yeah, I'm, I'm a roots musician. My, my music is based on roots and rock and roll is roots music, or it's the fruit or the flower of a root of a tree. And it's African and it's uh, Native American and it's Irish and it's, It's all of those influences. Yeah. It's maybe Dutch, maybe German, you know, different influences of people, pilgrims coming from, from Europe to America, finding a way of expressing their, their faith, expressing their, their, just their community. And rock and roll kind of is born out of all of those different, exactly. different exactly. schools. And so, so I do, I, I feel it's per perfectly natural to, to, to touch different types of music and I just love uh, the atmosphere that comes from a song from Afghanistan or a song from from Tibet or a song from West Papua or yeah. a song from the Aboriginal culture of Australia. I get so excited because I can feel it because I've been taught these songs that are my own roots mm -hmm. music and on some level we, you, me, we all go back to a beginning. We all go back. We've got Stone Age ancestors. It's it's hard to believe, but you know we do have, we do have people, who are who came from the beginning of time, yeah. and uh, and music connects us to those beginnings, and that really excites me. And music of Aboriginal people who have ancient concepts, who have the maps of land that no longer exists because it's now underwater, but they still have songs that relate to land that comes before the sea came, mm. or different parts of the sea came, and, and before pre-Ice Age music, you know, and <laughs> things like that. And um, that's so exciting. And yeah, I, I, it excites me, the idea that we have a tapestry of culture yeah. around the world. And uh, music, music is, is, is one of the the vehicles that expresses that. Exactly. So, so for your life without music will be completely impossible. It, it's, yeah. it's, it's unthinkable, actually. Well, I think for everybody, yeah. actually, that's true. Um, 
it's my living, so so physically it's true as well. But I, I think I think we don't realize that music is honey. You know, mm. bees make honey and people make music. And I, I, you you'll see people like I went to Africa uh, a few years in a row. I went to Mali, and the most it's riddled with music. There's music. There's like there's a there's a a Facebook post up from a friend saying, can somebody give me some, recommend some African music? And just people kept coming with different names, different names, different names, because diff there's so much music in Africa, so much. And obviously so many, maybe instruments that we've never, so many never instruments heard of. And everything. Wow. But I was, say, say I was in the desert in the Sahara, where it's not easy to get water, it's not easy to get food, it's not easy to live, but still the people make music. Yeah. They still take the time to make music that says something that means we need music absolutely and you know like these these syndromes that people have of uh, like spectrum syndromes of autism or a lot of that has to do with an absence of culture because you'll find that certain music awakens the, the synopsis in the mind and connects with the mind and it's it's logic and a, a lullaby can put somebody to see to sleep that's that's pretty serious yeah even though we take it for granted. But a song can soothe. A, a song can make you physically feel better. I've got a hangover, I listen to some music, I feel better. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> so much. Am I allowed to say that? Up, up to, absolutely, you're allowed to say that. Thank you so much up to this point. Liam O'Manley, we'll be hearing and talking to you a lot more in a few more minutes. We'll be playing some, some tunes. You brought your guitar and brought some other very interesting instruments with you. We'll be talking about your solo albums. And actually, you're in, on tour here in Nordrhein-Westfalen. Er ist auf Tour momentan, unter anderem übermorgen bei uns in Düsseldorf in der Kassette. Da werden wir gleich noch viel mehr darüber erfahren. Und vor allem werden wir natürlich noch ein bisschen über die Hot House Flowers sprechen, so muss das sein. Thank you so much, Thank Liam O'Manley. Jetzt geht's hier erstmal weiter mit dem Klickblick.